Hey, so I just pulled up to Washington State Summer Con parking right now. Not too bad a drive. It's raining. It's like winter weather here in Washington State in June, almost July. So, getting ready to go in and uh, see what's happening there. Okay, so I got my ID badge, so I can go back out. I'll come back in once I go out. Uh, now, just to uh, look around and find the men's room, probably, first. <laughs> then look at some cops. So as soon as I walk in, I spot Bueller over in the corner. So I decided to go over and say hi. All right. All right, here with the man himself, uh, Bueller. Uh, say something for the folks, Bueller. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Are you live right now? Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, guys, we're at Washington State Summer Con. This is like the fourth year in a row I've been here. Um, I love this place. It's a, kind of a smaller con, but they get AAA talent. They got uh, Scott Snyder. They got uh, um, Capullo. They got uh, Eastman as well. And they got me. You know, it's, and the bus, but the bus is parked out in the draft <laughs> somewhere and stuff like that. But you know what? Hopefully everyone's doing well. It's going to be a good weekend. Oh, cool. Is Bob coming this weekend too? He's not, man. I don't know what he's doing. He's he's always got like something wrong with him or whatnot. His back hurts or his tummy ache or something like that. So he's not making it. So it's just me. And, and you know what? Honestly, it's kind of not the same without him. Yeah. And because uh, we have a lot of fun together. I do have some friends coming. And they're going to help out. But uh, Bob... Should have been here, buddy. <laughs> I give him a hard time. Try yeah. <laughs> we love you, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, man. Um, good to see you. And uh, Thanks, man. Thanks for, for giving the shout-out. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this, and it's going to be a good weekend. And then after this, I'm hitting the road and going to Chicago. Oh, man. It's my old neck of the woods. <laughs> yeah. And pay those six uh, six fifty gas prices. So I'm looking forward to that. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mr. B. Yeah, man. <laughs> what a great dude. It was so nice to meet Bueller. He's so he's such a nice guy. Here's the guy I bought my Silver Age badge from, findcomiccollectibles.com. Another nice guy.
And right here I was moving so fast that I didn't even notice that there was this Groku doll on the side. And I didn't even see it until afterwards when I was editing the video. Janet and I have been looking for a Gro Groku doll for a long time, especially Janet, she really loves it. But no, I gotta, I gotta find this doll, man. Whenever I see Justice League number 14, I always pick up a copy. It's usually in the dollar bin and it makes great pocket mirrors and buttons that I sell on my Alternative City Comics shop that you can see on the link below. And it also has this great image of the Superman Wonder Woman kiss, which makes a great pocket mirror. And I found a copy, a couple copies of this run of Detective uh, Comics with Norm Brayfogel's art, uh, rest in peace. Well, I used to love his art uh, back in the day, so I picked up a couple of copies of those for a dollar. And I was this close to buying that lady killer trade. Then I did a quick eBay check and I found the same book for like half price, including delivery. So I passed on it. Some good looking katanas, but I'm thinking like, damn, what would I do with a katana? Just get in trouble. One of these days I'm going to get me a cap shield. Just got to have one.
Since it was Friday and only a four hour show, a lot of the creators uh, weren't there. Their booths were empty. And the panel rooms were deserted. There was there were no panels on Friday, unfortunately. Now this guy had a nice setup, a lot of books, he had graded books, a lot of keys, like this warlock. But he seems like uh, his books were way overpriced. He was offering 20% off, but even with that 20%, they, they still didn't seem worth it in most cases. This Marvel superheroes. Now I collect not brand ick and I know for a fact that there is no not brand ick worth on one hundred dollars. Not even the first one, which is the first cover appearance of the of the four bush man. Uh, even with that twenty percent, that's gonna knock it down to eighty. But in mint condition that number one is still only going for like fifty bucks. Uh, if you can get it, get it, but uh, I just couldn't pay that much. Uh, I have the full run already, but they're not super high grade, but that's okay. I'm not gonna uh, pay crazy prices for that run.
the whole time I was looking through these guys, this guy's books, there was just one guy in the corner, like he was just standing there watching me, like being like a security guard, like I'm gonna, gonna put one of the slabs in my pocket or something. So I just ignored him. All right, so this is it. I'm back. Uh, it's over. Uh, day one. Uh, I picked up a couple things. Uh, the best part of the day is that I got to meet Bueller, and I uh, got to talk to him for a minute. And other than that, it's just like it's kind of meh. I hate to say it. Uh, there were some people. Uh, as you can see, people were like way overcharging for some books. A lot of people were doing the old boost at 50% and then discount at 50% routine and you could easily see by just looking at the books and verifying the prices and uh it was kind of underwhelming i hate to say i didn't i didn't i didn't see anything that was really worth traveling here to get maybe uh the next con will be better but what i did get i was able to get um this guy was selling 
uh, Silver Age bags. I got two packs of uh, Silver Age um, Ultra Pro bags for for ten bucks a piece, which is pretty good for for nowadays. <laughs> now they're just like going for some places double that. Uh, got a few books, um, so uh, let's go home and uh, see what I got. So I'm back at home, and I'm going to show you the best books that I picked up out of all the ones that um, I was able to find at the show. Like I said, there was not a lot of indies stuff there at all. Uh, most people that had any indies, they would have them like in this little box. They'd be unboarded and bagged and just like this little mix, mismosh, mishmash of, uh, of random books. Uh, but I was able to pick up a few things. Uh, say this Faust number one, uh, it's probably like in VG, G, maybe VG minus condition, I would say. Uh, it's, uh, the, I think it's the first printing of the second volume of Faust, Love of the Dam. It was just sitting in the box, un, <laughs> unboarded, unbagged, uncared for. And there was a couple of them. Here's another one that's like, a, I think, a, a later printing, third printing, maybe. That's number two. And this is a one shot uh, called Singer's Talons. Uh, this is about from, from 2020. Uh, these are all from the same person, uh, just in their $2 box. The same guy I bought uh, a lot of those dollar and $2 books from. Also had, uh, this was this was a $2 book. Uh, this is a Batman, what, 221? It's in really bad shape. It has water damage, uh, rusted staples, but it is a... a late uh, silver, early Bronze Age Batman. And then that's just something I like to have. As is this uh, 231, which is in a little bit better shape, but it has a detached cover. This is also like two bucks. Another uh, early Bronze Age book. This one is 252, Batman 252. This was in the best condition of all of them. It's probably VG. And it's uh, completely, uh, cl it's complete and it has attached uh, cover and the stables are fine. So this is probably one of the better books, the 252. This is all Dick Giordano artwork. So that's, you know, that's, that's not bad. And probably the best one, the best condition uh, from that same person was the Brave and the Bold uh, special, I think from uh, 78. Uh, this is Batman, Sergeant Rock, and Dead Man. Now, that was a combo for you. And this was uh, two bucks. And this is uh, very good. So I'd probably say um, almost VF condition. You know, $2 book. Bronze Age DC. Which is something that's kind of undervalued right now. Uh, he had a, this IDW uh, DC crossover with um, Batman and the TMNT. And this by um, uh, Tinyan, James Tinyan uh, wrote this book. I had not even seen this. Uh, I know this is like a uh, a series or a special, but it was two bucks uh, with a Kevin Eastman cover. Harley Quinn. Uh, this is uh, from the Sean Murphy verse. Uh, Harley Quinn number two, first appearance of uh, God. I forget who the first appearance of this is, but this was a. Uh, he ran it for 10 and he had marked it down to five. It's probably a uh, BF, BF maybe. Uh, now this last group here is this, these guys, these, these guys that had a smaller table and not many people were frequenting their table. And I was looking through their stuff for quite a while. Uh, this one is, wow. Uh, I just bought a, an homage cover of a uh, red room of this of this series. This is Zap Number Zero. This is the seventh printing, and it's in pretty good shape. I want to say like a like a VF copy, but this it's a later 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 printing. Uh, you can see it's up to seventy five cents from the original fifty cents of the first printing. They had some other earlier printings, but they weren't in good shape. This was like I think fifteen bucks for that one. Um, Sandman, Sandman. Early Sandman, they had a, he had a run from number two to number seven, and he did not have the number eight, which is the first appearance of death. So, unfortunately, but he did have a number two, which is uh, the second appearance of Dream, and this one is in pretty good shape. Uh, he wanted 20 bucks for this one. 
the last three books I paid 20 bucks for. Uh, he did have a five, which is uh, the first appearance of Marv Pumpkinhead, or Merv Pumpkinhead, I forget which. This one was in decent shape as well. I want to say uh, probably BF at least. That's at least a $20 book now, probably 35 I want to say. Um, and the last one is Devil Dinosaur number one. This one, he, he had, he wanted 20 bucks for this one too. And it's it's probably, uh, I would say, solid fine, maybe fine plus. Uh, there's a few uh, spine ticks, shout out, and uh, and maybe a couple pressable defects also, shout out <laughs> to those channels. So yeah, uh, this this is probably the, the best deal of the day for me. Um, I didn't expect, this was actually on my list of books, on my want list. So I was surprised to find it. I was looking at a lot of stuff and it took me the whole almost four hours, three and a half hours to find these books. So that's all. Um, will I go back next year? I don't know. I may just go. I haven't been to the Portland show yet. So maybe I'll just um, uh, save up and go to the Portland show next year. Maybe spend a day or two there. And I'm going, looking forward to going to Emerald City later on this year. So that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.